Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a product review video using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Product reviews are essential for any business. They provide potential customers with information about products and services that they might not be aware of otherwise. A product review video is a great way to show off a product you're recommending or selling. And Doodly makes it easy to create so that you can start marketing your offers and products in the most effective way possible. Of course, we'll need a product. So in this example, we'll use some hairspray. So let's think about what we're doing here. We want our product. We want to say something about our product and then we want to give it a star rating. We're going to keep it fairly short and sweet. So, you know, we'll do a few bullet points about it before we give our rating. So let's start by importing our graphics. So you go over to props and click the blue plus sign, and then you just browse for your files. So I have my cans of hairspray and then people using the products. So I'm just gonna drag and drop them and click continue. And here they all are in my screen here. So I can go ahead and get rid of my little dummy here of the hair gel. And I will probably get rid of this as well. Let's just take a look and see how it lays out. So yeah, I think I will get rid of that little burst. It's just a little placeholder. And I'm placing it inside of just a blank, you know, just a square outline, just so that it stands out and looks nice. So let's start with this. And then we're gonna say, natural hairspray. This is the fake brand that I'm using. So that way they know the exact product. Now let's also say who it's being reviewed by, right? Cause you're, your store, you want to get credit for it. You want them to go to you to purchase it. So once again, let's go ahead and upload our logo. I'm just going to drag and drop it. Something like that. So maybe our lady should be a little bit more um, faded out. So let's turn the opacity down, say 50%, okay? And that looks pretty nice for our opening screen. I'm just adjusting some of the timing here and the order. Now, I don't want this to be drawn on, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the fade option. And then same with the logo. Let's actually draw the logo on. So what we wanna do is do our drawing pads. So we're gonna start with the circles. You'll notice the line is very skinny and my drawing is very fat so if I go to path size I can change that okay and then I'm going to do a new path and I'm going to continue the circle from here okay so let's take a look at this so far Okay, everything timing wise is okay. The order's fine, but I don't want the sweater hand. So let's go down here to settings. And rather than having this masculine hand, let's have a female hand. Just that one. Let's also turn erase mode off here. That way it's not gonna erase it before it draws on this logo. So now let's go to a new scene and add our beauty images, or some of them at least. And we can put some bullet points. Now here's a little hint for lining them up. You click show grid, and then you can line them up against the grid. I do have snap to grid on, so that helps. That should be better. Now we can turn that on. And let's add another slide with some more of those lifestyle images. Let's figure out how we want it to lay out. These two are pretty similar, so I'm gonna delete one of them. And then once again, let's add our product. Border. 
and then we want to say what our rating is. So we want some stars. And let's give it five stars. So let's go ahead and make these the appropriate size. That will be good. And then we want to duplicate them. So control or command C, control or command V to paste. You select them all together, it forms a group that you can then move. I think that will be good. And then we'll put our website address here where they can order it, so. And once again, we want to work on our timings and whatnot. So I'm gonna have these come on fairly fast. One and a half seconds will be good. And I want to make sure that each one of these fades on rather than squiggles on. You just click the pencil icon and choose fade. Then let's extend the scene. Give it about seven seconds at the end. And let's do the same on this middle scene. Let's have her fade on. And should be pretty close. Probably want to add a few seconds at the end of the scene. Likewise on this first one, go to scene settings and add a couple seconds. We always need to give them time to see what was just drawn. Now we could do a voiceover or we could just have it with music, it's up to you. I think the bullet points kind of say everything we want it to say, and we don't necessarily need to read that. So I'm just gonna go with some music. So go down here to music, categories, music, and we'll just pick ones, may or may not work, but we'll use that. Position it on your timeline. And yeah, I think that'll be fine. So let's take a quick look and then we'll be done. the basics of creating a product review video using Doodly. Thanks for watching.